Hey guys, Ugh, you doing another one of these videos? Yes, I am. I, I do it because of the, uh, <coughs> the, the challenge. Challenge, yeah, that's it. World's hardest game, it's gotta be challenging, right? No, but I'm working on a bigger video at the moment, but I still gotta play that YouTube algorithm game. Gotta keep feeding the beast, gotta give the people what they want. And these videos are pretty quick to pump out, or so I thought. So let's get into it. So the main thing I've been working on over the past few weeks is a level editor, which allows me to create the levels in no time at all. Watch as I use it to create the first level. Damn, that was super quick. That previously would have taken me like a few hours to hard code. Although the level editor still needs some work before I'll upload it so you guys can use it. And if I did that, then you guys could just make other levels yourself and then that would make me obsolete. So no dice, sorry. <laughs> okay, where were we up to? I think level four, something like that. And of course you can't save your progress in this game, so I will have to start again. It's not a huge issue at the moment, but once we get like up into higher levels, that is gonna be a real bitch. But you know, after playing the first few levels so much, I've actually gotten pretty good at this, if I don't say so myself. So let's get to level four. So this level has a new kind of dot. We've had bouncing dots, we've had path dots, but we ain't had no spinny dot. But my fancy new level editor can handle spinny dots no problem. So no worries, let's build that level. Level complete. So let's get my babies learning and then we can chat about why this level sucks so much. Okay, so the main problem I had with this level is once the squares start going for the first coin, then they have to go in smooth straight lines to each coin in the most efficient and quickest way possible. And well, if you know my AIs, they ain't a huge fan of the whole smooth motion thing. They're more of a fan of the take a kilo of cocaine kind of approach. Uh, so yeah, the squares had to learn to bloody calm down and make their way to the coins in an orderly fashion, which they did eventually. Another issue I had, which was 100% my fault, I was, I messed up the fitness function a little bit. Quick recap for people who don't give a shit. The fitness function picks players which are good and the ones which are bad. And I might have made a little mistake in the fitness function, which might have been encouraging the players to kill themselves. Not a huge issue, really. Pretty minor stuff, but that certainly didn't help. And it would mean you'd see stuff like this. Easy, good, good, nice, nice, come on, yes. Uh, what? No! <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so I fixed that. Okay, very nice. Next level. Go, 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 yes. Okay, okay, so we got some more spinny dot things it seems. Nice, easy to do. So again, let's build that level. Okay, let's get this puppy learning. So really the only issue with this level is that it's just so damn long. The learning took over 40 minutes to complete, which is kind of messed up. I fixed this whole takes forever issue in a later level, a little teaser from future Evan, so, so keep watching, boy. 
The actual level from the game has checkpoints at each of the green areas, but my mother didn't raise no pussy, so screw that. But yeah, apart from that, this one's pretty self-explanatory, so I will turn up the overly dramatic royalty-free music and fade into the night. Goodbye. Wow, wasn't that magical? Next level. The main issue with actually getting to the next level is that you need a good deal of patience, which is one good deal more than I appear to have. So here we go. I made it. Man, this game is a fan of those spinny dot things all of a sudden. I mean, I ain't complaining. It means I don't have to update the level editor. But yeah, just saying. So let's create that level. Okay, so during that level, I noticed an issue with my current algorithm. When the levels get long, the evolution takes ages because each player in the generation needs to travel from the start every time. And I'm sure this level isn't even the longest one, and this one took like a few hours to solve, so we gotta fix that. I don't know how many of you have actually seen my old videos, but in my pool video, which I did ages ago, in that video I used a technique where all the players do the exact same thing up until the final shot. That way you didn't actually have to do the previous shots, you can just do the final shot because you know where everything's gonna be located before that shot takes place. So I tried to do a similar thing where all the players do the exact same thing at the start, which means you only have to do the calculations for one player. So each generation contains 700 players. Players. before we had to calculate the movement and collisions and also draw every player every frame. Now we only need to do that for one player and we just need to keep track of the moment where each player deviates from that path. Evan, is this really that much quicker? Well, yeah, I mean, you have to. Actually, you know what? Try it. Go on, this will be interactive section. Go get a pen and paper and draw a single rectangle. All right, that wasn't too hard. Now draw 700 rectangles, which took you longer. Post your results in the comments below. I would be really curious to see which one takes longer. I'm kidding, that's stupid, don't do that. Drawing 700 takes longer, obviously. Do you get it? Good, now let's let her loose. At the start, there isn't really any difference, but be patient, my dear friend. Every 15 generations, the best player's movements are saved and all the other players adopt its starting movements. This also improves performance as it ensures that all the players survive until the later part of the game when they're actually needed. Ripper. I'm saying this as if it was simple to do and didn't take me like two days, but whatever, it's all worth it now because it's fast as f boy. <laughs> Thank you.
love progressing in the game, making it to new levels and seeing if I can defeat them. That's a strange and out of the blue question. Well, too bad, because we're going back. What? We well, wanted to try out the algorithm on the previous level and see how it goes. To the previous level, hiya! <laughs> I really don't have much to say. I didn't I didn't really have much to say last time we did this level, and now I have even less to say. And that's lunch. Great script writing, Evan. Top tier effort. I'll see everyone in the next one. I'm going to bed. Bye.